All right, so we're moving on. In the last episode, we ran into Luis Serra. It's not so obvious in this interaction that we've had with him so far, but his character is very much improved in this game compared to the original version of Resident Evil 4. How did you not notice me? You didn't notice me somehow. Spanish isn't good, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I'm sure I was noticed though. <laughs> Fight my way out of here. Maybe. I don't know. I like how you don't have to crouch in order to sneak. That's just so your visibility is less. It doesn't make any less noise. As long as you push the stick forward and not, um, and not run, you're going to be quiet enough to sneak. It always seemed goofy to me that characters would have to crouch in order to sneak in a lot of other games. Okay. I remember this section. This... I think that's a... Uh, that's creepy. Around here somewhere, from dangling from a tree. There it is. shit. Ah, you idiot. <laughs> that, you can well, just sell. Stinks. You don't have to go and inlay gemstones into that to make them worth more. Doesn't do you any good. What do I have in terms of equipment? Alright, I have a lot of resources, but that'll get me some stuff. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna run back real quick, because this section... The fuck, where'd you people come from? He used to be a warrior, and then he took an arrow to the knee. You know what? I'm confident enough in my ability here. I'm gonna give this a shot. You have El Chainsaw Saw fella here. <laughs> this is what the shotgun would have been good for. Stay down, all right. It's a good amount of ammo on him. So I would have gone back for the shotgun and that would have... I definitely lost a bolt, though. Oh, alright. Oh, there it is. Got my bolt back. Alright, so we got a little bit of a puzzle to solve in here. Oh, dude! What are you shitting with your pants on? 
I guess so. Ew. God, it's full. Don't you have indoor plumbing? Not too shabby. It doesn't have indoor plumbing, dude. It Someone is shabby. Their neighbors. <laughs> old photos. Yeah, old photos. Why would anybody have old photos? You should only have new photos. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this puzzle here. And we have to find hand grenade on an empty bookshelf. You have to go and find the hints to get the combination. So I think they're up here. Oh, that was it. Swineherd, pig, and babe. Baby, they mean. Oh, no, nope, this way. Nope, not this way. The layout of this house is fucking weird. I know. Nope. There we go. Crop. Crystal marble. Because that makes a lot of sense. Oh, shit. It's a clicker. <laughs> Accuracy leaves something to be desired. And this makes sense as a... This makes total sense as a... Puzzle to get into a locked room in a house. <laughs> Similar to the shadow puzzle you saw in Resident Evil 7. Um, I'm not going to read any of that shit. Ah, shit, I can't get... Oh, there I can. <laughs> ammo. This makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Can't get this just yet. Be back. Of course, that's yellow, covered in yellow paint, because that's how secrets work in the real world. <laughs> uh, I guess there isn't anything else to get in here. Alright, so a bit of a shorter episode, but uh, it's the end of this chapter. So, you know, 